My mum, Francoise, makes the most beautiful fruit tarts. And this is one of her specialities. This is her blueberry tart, and it's so easy to remember. There's no blind baking at all, so it cuts out one of those steps. Now, for the pastry, I will have the recipe online. It's a short crust pastry, so it's half the butter to flour and a little bit of sugar and water. No eggs at all, so a really easy recipe. And after rolling it out, I've chilled the pastry in the fridge. Now, I've got 250 grams of fresh blueberries. I like to use fresh blueberries for this. The frozen blueberries will give off far too much water, so fresh is best for this. And you can see, look how plump these are. And I say 250 grams, but you want enough just to cover the base of this raw tart shell there. Also, some almond meal. Now, I use almond meal here because it's going to just drink up some of the liquid that comes out of the berries. So just scatter a small amount over. You could also use walnut meal for this. Fantastic. Now, that's the first stage done. I've preheated my oven to 200 degrees and this is going to cook for about 20 minutes or until those blueberries start to soften. While that's cooking, I'm going to make a really fast custard. So two whole eggs. I'm putting it into a jug because it'll be much easier to pour in straight from the jug. So two whole eggs. We need to sweeten this up a little bit. So a quarter of a cup of caster sugar, along with a little bit of kirsch. So I love kirsch, the flavour of it. It's cherry liqueur, but you could also use a little bit of Cointreau in this. You could also use a little bit of brandy would be beautiful. In that goes with a little bit of vanilla essence, small amount. And I'll start whisking this just to break up those eggs and dissolve that sugar. Now some thickened cream, about 150 millilitres of that. So pour that in and let's give that a whisk. And that's it, that's how easy that custard is. So, 20 minutes in the oven, then I'm going to bring the heat down to 180 and that's when I'll pour over this custard. Now that the tart has come out of the oven, I just allow it to cool to room temperature. And you can see how gorgeous it is. Beautiful, even colour on the top. This tart is fantastic because it's really light. You've got the freshness from the fruit there and that custard's not overpowering or eggy. I hate eggy custard. Now I'm just taking it straight off the base here. I've got this gorgeous plate here that I'm just going to place it on. Done. Gosh, that looks good. Now, that is good enough, as is you could put a little bit of icing sugar. But what I have here is a little bit of apricot jam that I've just melted in the microwave. And just with a pastry brush, if you just very gently brush a little bit over the top, you've got an instant glaze and it just gives it a little bit of extra sweetness there. I'm going to cut a slice just to show you how fine it is inside. Look at that pastry, perfect pastry. And you just want you to see how magnificent these berries look. Look at that, how it's stained the top. And we've still got crunchy pastry there. Yes, I could probably eat it the proper way with a spoon and a fork, but I'm just gonna dig in straight away. Mm. Blueberry tart, outstanding, yum.